Good evening, this is George the Fragrance Press here. Back at it again with Dem Fragrance Reviews Sun. Uh, and here we are uh, doing... Uh, it's been quite a while since I did a location shoot. And um, I just thought today was a good day to do a location shoot. And I didn't really think about it, didn't really plan it or anything like that. I just sort of came out and stuck the camera down. This is really unprofessional. I've got my um, my my freaking microphone here, not even attempting to hide this big uh, bulky thing. I just sort of did it because I thought, oh well, people like location shoots, might as well do a location shoot. So speaking of things that haven't really been properly thought out, sort of done because of the novelty of it, and done because people think that it's a, a thing that people like without actually taking into consideration the more complex um, efforts that go into it, here is Pineapple Vintage by the House of uh, Vintage Perfumes. Um, and I got sent this one, and um, so I got sent this one, and... This one here, this is Vintage Parfums uh, Pineapple Vintage, and this is Pineapple Vintage Noir. Um, so, uh, I prefer this one, um, but that's a, a sort of a relative statement. So, as always, this is this is actually the second time that I have I have done a, a fragrance review of a fragrance that has been sent to me by for for free. And I would like to start off by saying to Vintage Parfums, thank you very much. It's always very nice when somebody sends me something. I'm not I'm nowhere near uh, the most subscribed uh, fragrance uh, YouTube reviewer. Um, you know, I have a, a very humble fan base, and so it's very nice when people um, you know trust me with their with their products because I understand that it, it is expensive to, to create um, and market and sell fragrance. However, um, the fact that you sent me this for free, in fact, these for free, will not change uh, how I feel about them, as we, you, both you and I, are about to find out in one of the most horrific and depressing ways imaginable. So there's a couple of ways that we could do this, um, vintage perfumes. So first of all, uh, let's tackle the presentation. Um, I like the box, I like whatever this is, the thing at the back, um, and I, I really like the bottle. Uh, sorry, I just turned myself off there. Um, I could make a lewd joke there, but I won't. Um, so, <laughs> uh, I do like the, the, the presentation, it's very nice, very, um, I don't know, very, very vintage, actually very old school. It looks promising. Um, so I, I'm happy to give the presentation uh, a four out of five. I would definitely be happy to have this in my in uh, on my on my desk or in my room or in my bathroom or whatever. However, it's all downhill from there. Okay, so there's one of two ways that we could play this um, uh, vintage parfums when I'm reviewing this. The first way is that we could imagine a world where this doesn't exist. And honestly, for quite a few people, that would be that would be magnificent. Um, there wouldn't be any clones, there wouldn't be any controversy, there wouldn't be any bitching about it, there wouldn't be the 10 billion reviews of it, and Mark Robes08 could sleep soundly at night without having a sort of a parasite lingering in the back of his mind of a fragrance that he is yet to review. It would be potentially, you know, potentially world peace could have come if Aventus never existed. We could, so what, what we're going to pretend, right, is that James Henry Creed was like, you know what, mate, this fragrance thing's kind of working out. You know, we've got, you know, we've got, my family's been into it. Probably my sons or my daughters or whoever are going to be into it. It's going to be sick, mate. We're going to freaking rock the world. We've got the royal family hanging out with us. It's all chill, yo. And then suddenly he wakes up one morning and goes, actually, you know what, sod this. I'm going to Las Vegas in America and I'm going to build a casino. And his whole family... From then, it's in the, the gambling business. Or he goes over to, I don't know, Italy or France or a European country and is like, actually, I'm going to be a hitman and all of my family are going to be assassins and will be the known as the Assassin's Creed family. So, if we were to pretend that events just never existed, actually, you'd fare worse because this, as just a sort of a fragrance on its own, It's not really great. It's synthetic. It it, it smells. Uh, it has like a paint kind of aroma. 
um, there's 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 so much lack of, of quality and uh, any sort of type of oils. This was constructed in a laboratory. Um, it's very suffocating. I could feel as though I could get a headache from it, and I'm not just you know I'm not trying to be sort of harsh or horrible. It is just I'm calling a spade a spade, as it were. That has an intense, overbound cocktail of chemicals, um, ripened with a very fake plasticky pineapple smell. Um, it's not enjoyable. It smells as though something I would buy from B&M Bargains or Home Bargains or whatever bargain uh, place you have in your country. It, it smells like a five pound, six pound fragrance that I could get from Superdrug. It's pretty, pretty awful. I wouldn't really choose to wear it. I wouldn't really see anything special in it. It's not great. Uh, in fact, it's, it's awful. However, when you compare it to Aventus, I kind of can see it, but I see it as if it's been pirated. As in, back in the day, when Spider-Man 3 came out, a friend of mine shown, showed me a, a pirated copy of it, and this has been somebody... Well, you know what this is. It's somebody when they go into the cinema and they, they, um, they shoot... Uh, they, 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 they film the screen with a very bad camera. So what this smells like is like... Like, Aventus is a film, right? It's a beautiful, cinematic, epic, four, probably five hours long... It's a beautiful epic cinema film, shot in, I don't know, 4, 6, whatever you want, K. It's got the best actors, it's got the best sound recording equipment. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's an absolute spectacle to behold. Absolute, a critical acclaim. All the critics love it. Even Roger Ebert comes back from the dead to give it a 4 out of 4. What this smells like is somebody went into the cinema and shot the Aventus film on a VHS tape. And the person in working that VHS camera didn't really know how to white balance it, didn't get the settings right. It's sort of like 16 by 9 compressed into 4 by 3. It's a mess. So when I replay it back, I know that there's a Ventus kind of in there, but it's not. Right? And the issue is with these Aventus clones is this. If your fragrance can't work off the merit of itself, the only um, judgment that it will get is... How close are you? Right? A fragrance like, I don't know, Bleecker Street, or Quercher, or um, the one that Mencera has, uh, uh, I can't think of it on the top of my head, uh, Baudre, uh, I don't know. But yeah, so those fragrances that have a similar type of vibe to Aventus, like the oak moss or the pineapple or all of the other signature things, but it goes into a completely diff different direction, you can actually um, experience and judge them and enjoy them on a separate basis. But when you're copying Aventus, which don't tell me that you haven't with a straight face, because let's be adults about this, you have... You look at it and you go, well, how close did you get? And you didn't. At all. Um, so, it's an awful scent. It has a really bad chemical cocktail. It's not enjoyable. It's not pleasant. And when I was wearing it, I just thought to myself, well, I just want to wear a Venta. So I want to wear a fragrance that doesn't smell as though I've just, you know, painted my whole house. You know, and it's just stinking of wet paint. So the scent gets a one out of five from me. Um, there is an idea there. There is there is something there, but it's just so poor and 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 so uh, weak. I, I cannot I cannot bring myself to give it anything more than one out of five. Projection longevity. Usually, most of the time, I wouldn't be able to find that out because I would just get rid of it. But I don't know. It's weak. It's like I don't know. Projection is two out of five. It's already a skin scent five minutes in, and longevity. Forget about it. That's about I don't know two out of five as well. Maybe one. It's it doesn't last. It has nothing of quality about it. The presentation is lovely. The presentation on your website is fantastic. Those mini little atomizers look fantastic. Look beautiful. But you know what can I say really? As for this one, um, this is awful. It just this really does truly smell like paint thinner. 
uh, in the nastiest of ways. Very, very unpleasant experience. I don't even want to give it the time of day because I couldn't really review it because I just couldn't wear it. I couldn't find out the information that you know uh, my subscribers want out of this because I just couldn't wear it. It was unbearable to wear. And I just want to finish by saying this. Everybody looks at me and they go, right, you're a snob, you're a fragrance snob, and I am. I like the art and fragrance, I like the creativity. For me, it, what matters, what counts, is the, is the smell and nothing else, really. But I understand that this is a business. I've also worked in the, the business side of this industry, and I understand it's very tough to make it. So anybody who tries to get into the industry, I respect you. I do. But... Um, you know, I, I get it. I like the hustle. I respect that you're trying to get on the Aventus clone kind of bandwagon, trying to get on the gravy train. I get it. But like I said, when you're trying to get onto this this hype, and you're you're doing your, you're doing your thing, you're sending it to free rev you're sending it free to reviewers like myself, like to Mr. Smelly, like to all the other people who you've sent it to. I get it, and you're trying to do the good business thing, but. When you're trying to get into the market of Aventus clones, the only thing that you'll be measured upon is how close did you get. And in the end, the answer will be not close at all. All right. So I respect that. Thank you for sending it to me. You know, I do appreciate that, but that's that's how it is. Uh, and good luck with it. Honestly, like, good luck with it. I hope you make loads of money from it. Um... But you won't be getting any money from me personally. Anyway, I hope you all got um, the information that you wanted. Uh, and that's basically it. I'm the Fragrance Press, and I'm out.